हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ गौरव जगदीश पाठक एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ न्यू टॉपिक इन थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज अप्लाइड थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक डिस्कशन टुडे इज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंबशन चेम्बर्स फ्रॉम एस आई इंजीन सो वाइल डिजाइनिंग द कंबशन चेम्बर a scientist or the engineers have make it is clear that the combustion chamber is a very important part of any si engine or ci engine and it is so designed and shaped that it can give the perfect efficiency for the engine there are many types of combustion chamber design for si engine but the design of combustion chamber for the spark ignition that is si engine involves the shape of the combustion chamber location of the spark plug and the location of the inlet valve and exhaust valve by keeping view in the mind of locations of these parts any design engineer can design A such kind of engineer a such kind of combustion chamber due to this design the combustion chamber has the great influence on the engine performance in this presentation we are going to discuss the different types of combustion chambers for si engines the main objective and importance of the combustion chamber is to provide the following objectives what are these smooth engine operation and high power output and thermal efficiency these are the more important aspect which has to outcomes from the combustion chamber that is the smooth engine operation and high power output along with thermal efficiency smooth engine operations can be achieved by reducing the possibility of knocking as we discussed in the previous article the phenomenon of knocking we can control or reduce the possibility of knocking by designing the perfect combustion chamber and this can be done by the location of the spark plug at the correct position proper cooling of the spark plug and exhaust valve area high power output and thermal efficiency can be achieved by creating the high degree of turbulence and sucking the more amount of charge to attain the high volumetric efficiency which improves the anti knocking characteristics compact and simple design by making all this we can achieve by suitable combustion chamber design friends there are the different types of combustion chambers for si engine which can give us all these parameters under control position in front of your screen you can see t headed type combustion chamber l headed type combustion chamber i headed type combustion chamber and f headed type combustion chamber first one we see t headed type combustion chamber it check out t head type of combustion chambers for the spark ignition engine as you can see there will be two walls on each side and the spark plug from the top side this type of combustion chamber was used in the early stages of engine development so in the previous days while the automobile or engine is under the development position then that time this kind of t headed type combustion chamber will be used in this type combustion chamber 
the knocking tendency is more because of distance across the combustion chamber is long and there is the need of two camshaft for the two walls which is another disadvantage now second one is l headed type combustion chamber as you can see one of the disadvantage in the t headed type having the wall on either side of switch which needs to camshaft and to operate them by bringing this inlet and exhaust wall to the same slide we solve this problem in the l headed type combustion chamber you can see both the inlet and exhaust wall will be on the same side and operated by the same camshaft only single camshaft will operate both the valves check out the above l headed type combustion chambers head l headed type combustion chambers the charge needs to take right angle turn to the either into the combustion chamber and this causes the loss of velocity and low turbulence which results into the slow combustion process and to avoid this we have turbulent head design for l headed combustion chambers this will head design will be helpful to create the turbulence for the charge to the keep the velocity for improving the combustion process also the spark plug is placed at the center of the combustion chamber and the flame travels length is reduced the knocking is also reduced with the help of this kind of combustion chamber another type is i headed type combustion chamber you can see in front of your screen i headed type combustion chamber and it is also called as overhead wall combustion chamber as you can see the inlet and exhaust wall are located on the top of the cylinder head that's why it is called i headed and the main advantage of this kind of combustion chamber is it can achieve high compression ratio and also less tendency to knock high volumetric efficiency our second target of the combustion chamber is to obtain high volumetric efficiency by adopting i headed type combustion chamber we can easily take the outcomes from volumetric efficiency point of view we can avoid the thermal failures by keeping the hot exhaust wall in the head instead of cylinder now f headed type combustion chambers is an inspired design from the l headed type and i headed type combustion chambers as you can see the f headed type combustion chamber in the above diagram one exhaust wall is in the cylinder head and the inlet wall in the side of the spark plug it is in the cylinder head and again this has the same disadvantages as the head type combustion chamber as the two walls needed to operate by the two different camshaft that's why f headed type f headed type combustion chambers are required two separate walls to operate by the two different camshaft this is all about the different types and the different outcomes from the combustion chambers and their outcomes thank you very much friends we will see the next topic in another session thanks very much